In this video, I'm going to show you how an instructor can upload data from iClicker, collect it in the classroom, into Flipit. From the first page, an instructor will click on Instructor Links, and there's a link in the second set of links that says iClicker Data Manager. Click there. And the first thing we want to do is upload the iClicker data from wherever the data resides. In my case, um, it's on my computer. So I am going to go to my Dropbox. And my data is on a folder called iClicker. So I'm going to go there. Um, usually the, there's going to be a folder called Classes. Here's my data, and this is my 102 Spring 15 course. I'm going to take that folder, I'm going to drag it here. And that's basically going to copy the folder. It's not going to do anything to the folder on my computer. It's just going to copy all the, fo all the files into Flipit. Start the upload. It's uploading all of the files from iClicker that I collected this semester. Then in the bottom part of the page, um, the new file that I'm uploading is for this particular lesson, Economic Models and Production Possibilities Frontier. The iClicker data already has dates, so it will probably locate the, the session in the correct unit and flip it. If not, you can click on the link and change it if you want. If not, and you're satisfied where the data will be placed and flip it, you simply click Load File. And it will start loading the file. It's loading all of the votes from all of the students in this in the class for the particular sessions that you're collecting. In, the, in my case, it's just one session. And I have about 800 students, so this will take a little bit, not long. That was pretty fast. Now let me show you what happened here and flip it. You go back to the web page, home page. This is the unit where the data was located. Um, before, I only have two links. Now I have pre-lecture and checkpoint. I have an additional link called lecture. That's the iClicker data. If you click on lecture, you'll see that what it did is to import whatever the question you had on the screen when you took the vote and the results from the vote from all the students. So in this particular question, 73% of the students vote A, 11% voted B, and so forth. For all the questions that I did in that particular session. So in this session, I did three, five questions. So for instance, this is question three. It will tell me what the, per the distribution. And the students can actually see this data too. So it's a great way to connect what happens in the classroom to what happens outside of the classroom and flip it. 